Another important thing to know is the so-called distal pressure recovery that occurs mainly in prosthetic aortic valve. The left ventricular aorta pressure gradient obtained by hemodynamic is always less than the obtained by Doppler. This occurs due to two reasons. As explained in past video class, the gradient seen by Doppler is the one corresponding to the vena contracta. It is important to know the difference between the peak gradient obtained by Doppler and that obtained by cath. The gradient obtained during cath is the so-called peak-to-peak gradient with the catheter inside the left ventricle, the maximal pressure is obtained. Then the catheter is removed toward the aorta where the maximal pressure is also obtained. And the difference between the left ventricle and the aortic maximal pressure is the peak-to-peak -peak gradient. Doppler does not give this gradient, but the maximal instantaneous gradient existing between the left ventricle and the aortic pressure. At this moment here occurred the maximal gradient and at this moment the maximal Doppler velocity and hence the maximal gradient occurs. Notice that this gradient is a real one while the peak-to-peak -peak gradient does not really exist since it, is, it occurs at a different time. The other reason is the one presented in the class Bernoulli the misunderstood. As shown then, due to conservation laws of energy and mass, the gradient seen by Doppler is the one depicted by the velocity of the left ventricular outflow tract and the vena contracta, while by cath its left ventricular pressure and somewhere in the ascending aorta, far away from the vena contracta, in a place where the aorta has recovered its diameter and the velocity of blood has decreased and hence the pressure has increased, decreasing the gradient. In the diagram, the pressure in the left ventricle is 150 millimeters of mercury. At the vena contracta, to conserve the mass, the velocity must increase, and hence the pressure decreases to 50 millimeters of mercury to conserve energy. Pressure energy is transformed in kinetic energy. The difference in velocities corresponds to the maximum occurring in the system, 100 millimeters of mercury by Bernoulli equation. After the vena contracta, the aorta has normal size. And to conserve the mass, the velocity must decrease, what increases the pressure to 100 millimeters of mercury, and hence decreases the gradient measured by a catheter situated there. The true gradient is the Doppler one. Because of this, the effective orifice area calculated by Doppler will be less than the calculated by cath and the Garling formula. 